Oh god, it feels good to be back. And uh, finals week is currently about three weeks away. And uh, I will say I am not looking forward to it. But once it is over, I'm moving on to spring semester. In the meantime, uh, we today we're going to focus on getting uh, more of the exploration done in this map. We got a pretty decent chunk towards the end of last night's uh, stream of uh, Skyrim. Or not last night's stream, last night's uh, stream, last week's stream. But before we do that, there is something that I want to take care of. I want to go to uh, the Throat of the World. And I want to see if I can, uh... I want to see if I can actually progress the Parthenas quest yet. and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zin Krifolut se suyek. What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? And again, I cannot actually do this before I go ahead and try and uh, progress this. I want to fast travel. Uh, before I go ahead and focus on the aspiration, I want to go ahead and fast travel to Sky Haven Temple and want to see if I can actually get the quest back by talking to uh, Esburn and Delphine. Because I really would like to finish up the Blades quest line. There's one quest after this after you kill Parthenax, and sadly, I think this might be another glitch quest where I'm unable to complete it. I'll keep checking in periodically at the beginning of the stream, but if I'm unable to complete it, I am unable to complete it. There's nothing else I can do. Just trying to find Esburn uh, and Delphine. Do the right thing. Part we have nothing to talk about until Parthenax is... Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Yeah, I don't know. This may be a glitch class because I can't get, can't, uh, can't seem to get the uh, thing to spawn. Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. 
Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during his lifetime, crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to all this and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult, but that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented or merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. Yeah, I, I, I guess I can't do this. It's really stupid. Uh, this might not be a glitch quest at this point because I can't seem to get the trigger to spawn for Parthenax. I don't even have the quest available. This may be another glitch quest that I'm unable to complete this playthrough, which really sucks. I think that's maybe the tenth one, maybe somewhere around there. That's just completely bugged out. In any case, let's go ahead and we will continue to work on, uh... Turn out the uh, dungeons in White Run Hole before I move on to the next one. Target scourge. Oh, Master Lock, uh, screw that. Cleared. All right, let's pass trouble down to the Western Watch Tower. There are two giant camps, or one giant camp in the giant camp cave down south. And also make sure I have my Mark for Death on. I will say it is kind of nice as soon as we clear out all the dungeons I believe that actually does it for uh, all the side activities technically so we can move on to the DLC But I'm not entirely sure I think we are fast approaching the end of the game I will say that That's a really cool execution. I like that a lot. Actually, I will actually take that ice roll pellet and that another one. I don't think I need it for crafting, but it doesn't hurt. Hold on, there's gotta be a chest around here somewhere. It may be in the cave that's nearby. It might be in the cave. I'll go up here. There's usually like a big chest of these giant camps. Oh, well, here's a normal chest. I could have sworn there was a cave somewhere nearby. Hold on, I, I, I need to pull up that map. Problem was I just restarted my computer after I just pulled up the map. Oh no, it's not all one place. It's just I guess there's technically two camps. Just give me one moment until I'll work on uh, uh, clearing these, uh, marking these things on the map.
Almost done. Basically, I'm using a map of all the lo to find all the locations. So I'm just trying to uh, mark everything so I just have the locations popping up. This is a map found at mapgenie.io. That's what I'm using. Okay, so. Let's look at the map. You have clear Secunda's kiss. I think this is either a landmark or it's just a random point of interest. I'll head over here just in case. It's apparently called uh, Necromancer's Bluff. I will say it is kind of nice to be able to do some uh, hardcore exploration. Oh, I see a dragon in the distance. After this, we'll head to that, uh, uh, God can't think, that fort. That's probably it. Okay, we got some skeletons. Uh, is there anything else to do here? Is it just skeletons? There is a grave, but let's say it's just skeletons. Let's uh, backtrack and we'll go to the fort. And uh, afterwards, uh, we'll try and figure out which uh, location we'll go to next. Let me also go and save. You haven't saved in a while. Uh, this is a ally place because of Imperials. Okay, well, we don't have to do this. Uh, this is for Greymore. Uh, I'll actually leave this B. I'm not gonna kill my allies just to clear the location. Plus, I don't know if he can clear these ports. Winner's Den is another glitch location. We've been here many times. We've cleared this place out many times, and we can't actually clear this. So instead, we'll actually fast travel to Winner's Den. We'll head south. I'm just gonna go to Broken Fang Cave. And uh, on to the giant camp. I will say, it, I, since I definitely have been working on this game for over a year now, and it's kind of finally being near in the end. 
still have a lot of work to do, but albeit we don't have that much. Did one of those mammoths just despawn? One of those mammoths just despawn. Oh, there he is. Mammoth is behaving very strangely. Okay, they slowed up. And uh, let's go ahead and see what this guy has. There's usually a chest in these places, so we'll go ahead and look around. This hurts. No. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's not a uh, chest here. Usually there is. Unless that mammoth's fat butt is uh, on top of it, but I don't think so. I don't think that's how collision works in this game. By that, I mean I don't think the mammoth will completely hide the chest. I feel like it'll just be lying on top of it. And by that, I mean you'll be able to see the chest even if the mammoth falls on it. Oh, that's not fair. What is left? Ah, over here. There we go. Now is there a chest? There is. Nice. Moving on. This should be cleared now, right? Yep. Moving on. So this is cleared. Ram beaks fast. There's apparently a uh, pass, uh, North Ram Beaks Pass, we're gonna try and find that. I think this may be an overworld thing, it's not a, uh... oh no, I was wrong. Right here. I can't believe I haven't found this place yet. Definitely been in this area a couple times. Really? You are a strong skeleton. Oh, 
That was Cold Rock Pass. Oh. Yeah, so you got a troll. Nice execution. Okay, well, I don't see that often. Open treasure chest. Apple pie has probably should be rotten by now. Really? That's it? Okay. So that was cleared. Next up, we will head Oh, we actually missed something. So we're actually gonna fast travel to Ramvik's fast. Uh, there's enemies nearby. Where? Where's our enemies? Where's our enemies? Oh, the dragon probably. See if we can get away from him. Yeah, he's probably so too close. Uh, come on, got fast trouble now. Yes. So we actually need to go east now. So I should go around this rock and then actually no just in case it might be up on a ledge somewhere we'll actually try to stick to the high ground that's actually probably a dumb idea <clears throat> uh Yeah, here we go. We should be able to get here, get there now. I will say I have so much stamina I can like run for ages now. boys, huh? Kind of funny how I uh, kind of had a random event of Stormcoast finding uh, Imperials. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Just random out in the wild. Oh wow, this is not what I was expecting. I was hoping for a friendly NPC, but that didn't happen. Do you have anything good? 
Also, does he have any enchanted gear I can just use? No, doesn't have anything. At least, uh, uh, I guess I can't do the chance stabs, but. Actually, let me go ahead and try something real quick. Just to experiment. Yeah, I can't just enchant it. I thought maybe I could upgrade the enchantments I already had, but nope. Also, if you hear like a weird sound in the background, uh, one of my the people living with me as uh, a guest is uh, taking a shower right now, so hopefully it's not too uh, distracting. And next up, we're going to the Talking Stone camp. This can be found south of Orothon, and we have enemies near us again. There you go. Ah, Gatorade is so good. Okay, so we need to go... Where? Right about here-ish, it looks like. And let me also go ahead and save here because we haven't stayed in a while. It's really good to have it as saving at the beginning of every single location because there all will be times where I'll be faced against vampires and vampires like to use powerful destruction magic. Why are you running? So I'm gonna save you. I will take any lock picks you may have. I will say so something that I haven't really been talking about that much. It well I Talk about it every now and then, but since it was announced that uh, Elder Scrolls 6 is reportedly in development, I honestly am really excited for that. But I, uh, I'm honestly really excited for that. But the thing that I am just kind of worried about is, uh, Bethesda has not proven themselves to be a reliable game company as of late. They have made many questionable decisions regarding their games and case some point the most egregious one in my opinion is Wolfenstein Youngblood. Wolfenstein used to be a really great series, but with Youngblood just completely ruined the experience for me. Great. Youngblood really run the experience to me, and uh, they kind of had some questionable decision making, like a uh, case in point, Fallout First, which was a membership thing for Fallout 76, has quite possibly one of their most controversial decisions ever. That essentially rewarded people who forked over the hundred bucks a uh, month or fifty bucks a month, sixty bucks a month, whatever, just to get like passive effects, which is really stupid. 
to me, like, Bethesda seems to be turning into, like, a cash cow series uh, company. Where they're just only out to make more, mo more and more money rather than making quality games. And I really do not like... Uh, I'm really kind of hesitant to say that I'm excited about uh, Far Cry, uh, f about Skyrim uh, or Elder Scrolls 6, mainly because of the fact that I know exactly what uh, Bethesda has done in the past, and I really make get, and I see a little bit concerned about how Elder Scrolls 6 will turn out. I will say that Bethesda does have a potential to create really good and solid games but at the same time a lot of their recent choices has just given me reasons to be concerned that being said Ubisoft has also made some really controversial and odd choices and uh, really, if you are a fan of my series, you will know that I do not like the recent Assassin's Creed. Uh, or if you're a fan of my channel, you will know I do not like the recent Assassin's Creed being Assassin's Creed Valhalla and uh, Odyssey. And I do not like uh, the most recent Far Cry, Far Cry 6. That being said... I do believe that Ubisoft does have the potential to make really good games. It's just, I feel like they're falling into the same category as uh, Bethesda at this point. And it's just, I don't know what how I feel about that. I really do hope that Elder Scrolls 6 is a huge success. I really do hope that when it releases, it will be a vast improvement over Skyrim. But at the same time, just gives me a little bit of reasons to be a little uh, concerned. Because I don't want this series to die, uh, this uh, uh, game series to die with Elder Scrolls 6. And have Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim, be the last great Elder Scrolls game. Just as at this point, uh, Far Cry 4 is the last great Far Cry, uh, Far, Far Cry 4. Fallout 4 is the last great Fallout game, in my opinion. Freaking Elder Scrolls Online and uh, Fallout 76 just completely killed the experience to me. Just give me a moment while I was trying to figure out where. <laughs> Sorry, just kind of had a little hiccup. Uh, we're trying to figure out where to go. On guard. I guess we can go ahead and get started on the Dawn Guard things. So you're gonna fast travel two seven blobs through drop and you know what? I will actually go ahead and uh, turn it into a wolf werewolf for this. Just to get some more points for the uh, for werewolf. I forgot this was a poor form fight. He doesn't even get some health up. I was trying to hit the Fort Ravager guy. I, I didn't want him to kill my stupid horse.
I'm in the wrong place. Whoops. Uh, load. That's why I say I didn't realize I was still at that giant's camp. And take shallow mirror away from here. Just so that he doesn't get in the way. Let's try this again. I'm just mainly doing this to get werewolf points. Funny how the uh, I don't want to actually kill Lydia. I'm over here by her. There we go. Uh, that's extended. There is an achievement for getting 11 world perks. That's what I'm trying to get. There's also an achievement for getting 11 uh, uh, vampire perks. Okay. I can eat a Hagraven heart, seriously? That's more beast than human, I think. Honestly, that now that I think about it, how exactly are Hagrams created? Oh, yes, I already ate his heart. Okay, let's go ahead and see if there's any more here. Yeah, I don't think you can do this. 
I can try one more time. Yeah, I'm gonna need to weigh something down. Don't have that ability as Warble. There we go. Let's actually go ahead and we will uh, head to a nearby location. Thought I saw there was a house nearby. Uh, you know what? It actually might be further away than I thought. Let's actually head to this uh, thing. Let me also go and save before I do this. Because we are going to be facing some high level vampires. And last time I faced them, I died. <clears throat> so we just want to go ahead and make sure that we survive. Exactly like that. Vampires have crazy. First of all, I don't think enemies even care about Magicka. Yeah, they just, can just spam it regardless. No, you. No, 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 no. You are a dick. Die. Freaking high level. Magicka. Die, please. I should point out that the first uh, DLC I'm going to tackle, or I guess I technically tackled Hardfire first, but the first ma major expansion that I'm going to tackle is uh, Dawn Guard. Always end up doing that first. Go ahead and save. Lock picks, thank you very much. I was think that's actually done. I can't, I, uh, I was gonna say, I can't believe I died those guys so easily that first time I encounter for this area and then I survived just had a much easier time this time around. I guess it kind of makes sense because I'm a little bit stronger than I was before. Oh yeah, I would say that's it. Nothing else here. Something I am thinking about doing and I haven't quite made a decision yet is streaming instead from 1 p.m. to 4 I said I was gonna stream from uh, one, uh, 12 to 4, which will make it a four hour live stream. Me doing this will essentially make it so that I uh, can stream for an extra hour. But I haven't quite made a decision if I am gonna do that yet, so that is something to look forward to, I guess. This is an extra hour long stream. I used to stream at four hours all the time, but I uh, couldn't consistently just make it to the end of four hours, and now that I'm Consistently making it to the end of three hours is fine. 
I honestly think that I wouldn't have too hard of a time to uh, stream. Do stream the uh, for a full four hours. God, I hate ice magic. I should probably check. Cleared. Cleared. I think the Hagrid was the boss of this dungeon. Now let's just go ahead and head over to this location. And uh, after this, I believe that White Run would be just about done. Make sure I didn't actually kill Lydia. Accidentally kill Lydia. Why oh, do you have rats there, bud? It's a rat. One's dead, probably killed by skeevers. Nothing else here, nothing else I care about. Oh. Okay, moving on. So there's one thing that we haven't done in this area it looks like that is Sojin sinkhole and actually I can actually get to that from Moldering Ruins and this will be the last location uh, that we do in uh That'll be the last location we do in White Run Hole because those like that about does it for White Run. I don't know why, but I heard that bear uh, warring or growling or whatever you want to call it, and it just kind of made me jump. Okay, uh. Okay, I think I see is over there. Ah! I'm surprised I did that much damage. Let me go ahead and save here just in case. Stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. We tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is crawling with Draugr. 
We're not mining up any ore with those undead around, so I wouldn't go down there if I were you. I'll go ahead and clear out your undead. Yeah, there's a little bit of dragger, no big deal. And nothing that a dragonborn can't handle. What's over here? Oh, nothing. Roger, Death Lord. Okay, seriously, um, do I not have... No, I don't, that's why. I don't know why I didn't hear any sound effects to my spell being used. I was not expecting the idea to come out and stop myself because I didn't want to ask any core. I can't light. Is there any noticeable trick to this? This one's up. Okay. That was easy. Nice job. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can find any more potions, preferably. It looks like we have one here. Take that. Death Overlord. Tell Perth that all the Dragor did will do. After I loot up. That's actually some pretty good loot, I will say.
So we actually, I, I wanted to look, look at this before, uh, before we started streaming. This one, I can't actually, this one can't just want it to me to have this. Don't need an iron dagger, don't need the iron arrows. Lost arrows, these forsworn arrows. This is a quest item apparently. This I'm gonna hold on to. This I can't use. I don't think in disenchant staffs. I tried. I don't think in, again. I don't think in dis dis disenchant staffs. Yeah, I just uh, actually I'll hold on to that for now. I guess. Because now I'm second guessing myself. Okay, let's go. We're keeping the mine closed until that crypt is... You did? We were waiting for the Yarl to send an entire regiment to clear that mine. Now we can what get back to work. What is his nose? Thank you. Is that paint? Or is that... Yes, yeah, paint. I don't know what he gave me. He gave me something. I'll have to review that and, uh... I'm editing this video for YouTube. But, uh... I don't know what he gave me. Is that anything clear? No, it's not. Oh, it should be cleared. That's all you need, Dragon Boy. Just to say the word. Technically, we're in the reach. Just fine. The thing about desert for all the locations found in White Run. So let's actually turn our attention to Falkyrie. Immediately, what I notice is we have not actually uh, discovered this location. Then the fast one will off to deep and we'll go ahead and uh, track that. We already cleared this dungeon. I just wanted to go ahead and mark that on the map as a place I can patch up to. Okay. There you go, South Bridgeton Pass discovered. So I honestly consider this whole Riverwood area to also be part of the, uh, Part of uh, uh, Riverwood, I don't know, Fall Creek Hold. Uh, so we actually, it looks like we cleared all of the locations in this area. We have done D3. We have done Hamar Shame. We have done Fort Newgrad is on the map, but we can't do anything yet. That's an ally thing. We have done top for Sanctum. We've been inland now. It looks like there is a thing right about here that we haven't done. So let's go ahead and pass over to Pine Watch. We'll head over. Also go ahead and clear this area of bandits again. Victory. 
Okay, so uh, this area is over here. Bring yourself in a dragon is attacking a uh, type fall freeze because I'll be a little bit irritated. That's it. No chest. Peak shade tower clear. Next up. Uh... There is a watchtower found here. Go ahead and fast travel to North Street and Bastion. We'll head over. This is an area that I cannot clear because it is a uh, allied place. At least it should be. Oh no, he got an enemy. magic my freaking god man that necromancer suck rose of major restoration and she was using destruction magic all I'll say Yeah, burning through my potion supply. Do not appreciate it. Anyway, this place should be cleared. It is. Roadside ruins is done. All deer's cairn is done. Bagtus keep is done. Evergreen Grove. There is a place a little bit northwest of Evergreen Grove. What is this? Oh. Go ahead and fast travel to Evergreen Grove and we will uh, head to that location. I think I've been here before. I think I've definitely been here before. I said, no, I, I haven't actually. I have to decide somewhere to find something I have been. 
Season 4. It's not surprising because usually uh, Skyrim's dungeons are fairly unique. Yeah, there is a dungeon in Markarth. I think I actually know which one it is. I think it is Cradlestone Tower that has a similar design to it. I remember having the pit box that gate, the pit lock pick that gate in, and there being a down section to nothing. Okay, next let's go ahead and we'll head to this house. be somewhat unique to this dungeon this place I don't think I ever ran into a werewolf a beast master that is strange I actually didn't look this up hold on Skyrim Werewolf Beast Master Werewolf Beast Master are fair werewolves and they can be found at the encountered as random encounters in silver hand bases from level twenty eight upward. So I'm nowhere near set with silver hand base, am I? I don't think I'm near a silver hand base. This may be Moss Mother Cavern, but I don't think so. In any case, let's say Falkreath is done, so we're moving on. That's strange. This is the first time I ever encountered a werewolf beast beastmaster. Well, I guess we can do a couple more things, maybe. There is a mine. Uh, now that I think about it, there's actually more, a little bit more areas we can go to. That is very strange. Is that a good place to get some world coins? Okay.
That is what's called my game crashing. Apparently, it doesn't like me using payroll mode. Ah, uh, fuck. That sucks. Thank God there is a, uh, a the so that about does it. Let's go ahead and wait four hours so I can go back to my human form. Nothing else I can see here, but it's kind of interesting how uh, random bandit occupied in mine, I guess. Yes, bandits like to mine too. Is this or calcum or calcum? It's good mine to come to come to if I need or calcum for anything. This actually looks like it has a lot of deposits. Okay, so I believe this dungeon is all cleared. Yep, bio gulch mine cleared. So we have done Lost Valley Redound, we have done Bard's Leap Summit, that's actually a location. So I guess we are moving on to, excuse me, I keep on burping, I guess we are moving on to Markarth. Valkyrie is now done, two holes completely cleared out. Where I'm going now is apparently a mine. And it's called Bloom Reach Cavern. I think it's actually that cave just marked as a mine. Probably mislabeled on this map. I will say, like, sometimes just tra traversing the landscape of Skyrim is just really therapeutic sometimes because it's just so beautiful, such beautiful landscape, in my opinion. Oh, Farmer. I wasn't expecting it. It's one of those priests and I thought it was a freaking place. And dead. Who's next?
Okay, looks like we have you guys. And done. Okay, so we are going to... Uh, I guess we're not done. I guess we got a little bit more to go. And save here. Really pretty dungeon. Although I will say we haven't really gotten into too many challenging armor variations. I know there are some that will definitely kill me if they have a chance. Oh, it's down here. It's layers. with the eyes armor warmonger give me your uh, money like another alternative path keeping all those uh, things open that uh, map may be the only way I need to go. I can go. Is that place cleared out now? Hey, oh, hey. Yep, Gloomery just cleared. Okay, what's next? Here is old for all the end. Bolton. Arkham Thaz is a place I've been to before, it's just more clear. I went there as a part- oh, that's actually a Dongard. Hold on, I, I need to check something. Didn't I go there as part of the Lost of the Ages quest? It is a Dongard DLC, so that's actually a place I've already been to before. This place I should have as should be cleared, but it's probably a glitch that's not cleared. Moving on. Reach Cliff Cave. And Reach Rune Irie is the same place. Reach Water Rock. Sure, 
your water run is a place you haven't been to before, so we'll pass over to Dushnik, y'all, and we'll head uh, west. Oh, it's actually... Oh. If you haven't been got that landmark yet. I thought I did. Because I assumed that it was actually in the dungeon for some reason. As a sword. Uh, nothing else here. Let's move on. This is clear. This should be pure water run. I just do this cave. It should be pure water uh, run. I guess a cliff. I guess we're going down the cliff, but not what I meant to say. Oh. Intriguing, very, very intriguing. That's really cool. Okay, so I guess there's an alternative path that I never knew existed. Now I'll just go to pure water run. Should be over here. I've been streaming for about an hour and thirty minutes. We're gonna be streaming for another hour and thirty minutes. Trying to figure out how to get to this cave. I think I need to go up there. Go up there. That's another thing. I'm really excited to tackle the Dragonborn DLC because it's one thing I've never done on Skyrim. Never played the Dragonborn DLC. So once I complete the Dawnguard DLC, uh, then uh, yeah, uh, completely new content for me.
probably going the complete wrong direction. I said no, I am. I don't want to get like too far off track. I know it's probably like a really easy way to get there. I just don't know where. For now, I'm being a billy goat. Uh, I'm going complete. I'm going to Markarth. Markarth. No, that's not Markarth. It is Markarth. Markarth's right there. I'm trying to get to this stupid cave. How do I get here? I don't want to go to Markarth. I want to go to this cave. Okay. I found it. There's gotta be something else down here. <laughs> There's seriously nothing else here but just two chests. I guess slaughterfish. Yes, so. So that was eventful. There's gotta be something more here. There's gotta be something more here, right? Just two slaughterfish, seriously? No, 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 this isn't cleared. There's gotta be something more here, I just don't know where to go. Let me actually look this up. Hold on. There's nowhere to go, though.
Yeah. Uh, I guess this is an unclearable dungeon, really? It's essentially like a run room dungeon. That's disappointing. Well, at least we discovered it. At Rock Redown is a place that we have already been to and cleared and it's just being glitched. But we've already been here before or to clear it out. Salvia's farm we've been to. Is he trying to figure out where to go from here? There it does look like there is a uh, place you have been to called uh, Four Skull Lookout. Let's go ahead and head over there. Yeah, I see it. It's right over here. I need to be on the other side of the cliff. Go ahead and save because you haven't seen a while. through my potions. Forest Gold Lookout cleared. So that guy should not have that powerful destruction magic. God. Freaking nightmare. So there are two mines down at Carthwast and we've already actually been to Carthwast but apparently we have not discovered those mines. Actually, you know what? I think those mines, because we actually, if we don't actually see the mines just this close to Carthwast then we definitely, it's probably not a marked thing. So we will move on. Bartha Dams is a place we've been to before. A place we cleared before. It's just not March clear, which is really aggravating. Dark Tooth Crater is done. Our mug stall is something that we have not done.
don't know, but this place is full of them. Everyone I've encountered has been enchanted or the like. Look, I'm getting out of here. Normally spiders make my skin crawl, but magic spiders? <laughs> Yeah, let's continue. Yeah, it's got a unique dungeon with the quest attached to it. Honestly, thought that guy's a bandit. So I actually gave him a little love tap with my sword. I gotta run my first try without just taking a complete round guess. Okay. We got some enchanted spiders. That's new. Lydia. Okay, uh Magic. God. You deserve to have your head chopped off. I'm sorry, but you do. Freaking high power magic. Before we do that, I want to us behind that master lock door, and I'm thinking I'll have the key I'll be able to get in. Okay, uh, let's see if we can actually. Lydia is broken. Of course she is. Nope. I am not touching that with a 20 foot pole. Okay, let's go back to where we were. Got about uh, 45 or 50 minutes before I'm going to be in. Probably 60 minutes before I'm going to be in the stream. Uh, God, probably 70 minutes because I'm bad at math. 20 plus 50 is 70.
let's go. Julianos, that's kind of been if I can't remember what uh, Julianos thing was. I know RK deals with death. Mario is a goddess of love. Akatosh is like the king of all the gods. I can't remember what Juliano's thing was. I think it's actually revered by mages. It's actually, um, it's actually, uh, makes sense that he is, uh, he has a shrine of him. I think I about does it for this dungeon. It should be clear now. Her mug stall cleared. I guess I'm my eye. So this one is your deck readout. I have that cleared. Beyond that, guys are just going into uh, solitude now. What's this? Hey, I need a wolf pelt. I think I actually already got one though. I think I got it from a giant. I need this for crafting for my house. Darkfall Cave. This is dark. Okay. I need to cast a can't light because I can't see a thing. I've got a bad feeling about this. I can go from here. Oh, God, it's terrifying. The spiders in the water. Oh god, that was terrifying.
trying to get the skeleton off the chest so I can loot this chest. I am almost completely filled to the ground with my inventory. But I need to go ahead and make a, I do a selling spree. I'll do that after I clear this dungeon. I got the hiccups. Darkfall cave. No, sister, I know that you'll come find me, but it will be too late. If you find this letter, get out of this forsaken cave as soon as possible. We are fools to think we can live so close to such creatures and live peacefully. I should have head back to camp with you after we place the torches down here. I thought these trolls would be different. That they would somehow understand that we didn't want to hurt them. I'm no corner. It's only a matter of time before one of the trolls decides to finish me off. I hope it is a quick death. Farewell, my sister. Okay, I just thought I saw another dead body somewhere. Guess not. I've got a bad feeling about this. You always have bad feelings, Lydia. Trolls dead, those Britons have been avenged. I've got your back. I need to trade some things with you. How can I serve you, my friend? Okay, uh, let's see. Is this the exit over here? Whoa. Is this a part of the Dongar DLC? part of the Dongar DLC because this looks very unique. Yeah, actually, hold on. Yeah, it says Dongar. This is probably related to the main story quest, so we actually can't do anything with this just yet. There's gotta be a way out of here, though. Looks like over here. I didn't even know this was Dongar. Okay, uh, I need to cast Count Light again because I can't see. Uh, 
On the bright side, since we've already been here before, hypothetically, we should be able to have an easy time to get through this now that the shortcuts are open. But I think the dungeon is reset after 30 days, so probably won't be able to get to use that. At least in terms of loot every set. And we can't actually clear this yet. Alright, well that's fine. We got a little preemptive exploration. And actually... Just thinking about this now, since we still apparently have a DLC tied to these dungeons. Uh, I actually think that it would be better if I tackle the Dawnguard DLC. Let me stand up for a second. And I should try to get that. God! I should try and get that out of the way first. But... There is something that I want to do. And that is to get the werewolf mastered still. So we're gonna be going from uh, location to location as soon as we clear the inventory and we will be working on getting the werewolf uh, mastered achievement. Then once we get that, we will be turning our attention to the Dawn Guard because of the fact that there will still be dungeons that we can't actually clear yet. Well, it makes sense for me to actually do that after I complete the Dawn Guard DLC. Because the Dragon Ball DLC, to my knowledge, takes, it takes place entirely on Soul's time. So I will need to wait a little bit for me to tackle that. So, unfortunately, I will not be able to uh, get uh, clear every dungeon, apparently. So, I will have to wait. We did make a decent progress. We have cleared uh, Markarth, White Run, and uh, Paul Creed. So we only really have a few, uh, like five or six more holds left, four, four to six at minimum. But uh, we will not be able to make many more progress if we uh, just keep going, as there will be dungeons that we can't clear. Oh, that's damage, and this is uh, Magicka. That actually, I may mean, actually have something new after all. I'm gonna save. Do come back. Just doing my trick, just so that I can have infinite cell. I'd even. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Remember, I'll give you the best help. Load. You just let me know. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Apparel. Alteration I can't use. I'll actually hold on to that. I'll hold on to that. Next time, come see me. 
no idea why this trick works, but it does. Welcome. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Dave. Uh, I know what you're thinking. This fellow here. What is load? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. So many diamonds is gonna take a while. I'm all trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. At least we should be making some progress on uh, speech. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. All right, then. This is uh, really kind of a pain. It did one downside to having that uh, completely fill the Baron's eye uh, thing. Trinkets, is, uh, that sort of thing. You can find a shitload of gems that just makes it a pain to go through all the sell options on the store. Till next time. In fact, it may actually be better to do all my uh, remainder of the selling at uh, uh, the uh, hunger meadery. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Do me a favor, if you speak to me. Let's see if this works. I think I tried this before and it didn't, but I can't remember. I've got trinkets, odds and ends. That's no, it doesn't work with him. It only works with Balthor. That sucks. All right. Well, we already got rid of all the diamonds, so Well, I've never seen this before. We can't save any more data for this game or app. Your Xbox is out of space for save data to make rooms so let the game or app in my games and apps. Press a menu button on your controller and then select manage game and add-on. Fuck me. The problem with this is I am concerned 
that if I hit delete all or I delete either this or this, then it'll completely get rid of my save file for my eek, which is my character. God, why is this a thing? I'm gonna look this up. Uh, I got what's called. Thing is, another another thing. I have more than enough room for that, so that shouldn't be a problem. Like three hundred twenty-eight gigabytes free. I just don't, I don't want to delete my save file, that's a thing, I, why is this a problem? Reach out for it's hard to put to Any saves to the cloud are unlimited, are unlimited in nature. I recommend that you try clearing your local saves. Unfortunately, it looks like the fix, uh, thing to fix this problem will actually require me to restart my Xbox. So because of that, I think I'm actually going to end the stream a little bit early. Really do apologize for this, but I need to go into settings, system, storage, clear local save games. And this will restart my console, but I don't know if this will completely remove my uh, save file for this uh, game and I don't know if it will remove my save files for other games. I will say that's the only thing that will help me. Another alternative is uh, Hold the power button on the console for 8 seconds until the power shuts down completely. It's a hard reset. Uh... Yeah. Uh, this may be either a problem for my series or it, this could also be a solution. I don't know. I've never had this happen before and I've been playing Xbox for... Uh, probably since the first generation of consoles when X, the original Xbox came out. I was playing freaking family games because, like, freaking open season because my dad just didn't want me to play any violent games. Violent games will make you violent. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to end the stream here and I'll have to try and figure out this issue with my uh, game and I uh, hope to God that I do not remove my save data if I do this game might be might go on hiatus for a time or what I may end up doing is just uh, reading uh, temporarily stopping this series and to get back into it when I uh, feel motivated because I've been working on this for a year and it's this freaking crap uh, that this freaking crap caused me to completely lose my save file that I've been working on for over a year over 50 live streams if this ca caused me to lose my save file then I'll be pissed off but uh, that's I don't know. I'm in a live stream here. I'll see what I can do, but uh, yeah, I'm not too happy if it. I won't be too happy if it completely gets rid of my save file. But I'm gonna end live stream here. 
if you are remotely interested in what you see today, all the games I cover on my channel will be for 1% completion. I will hopefully be streaming Skyrim yet again next Friday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Standard Time. I will be streaming Far Cry 3, hopefully, for 100% completion on Saturday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Standard Time. And I will hopefully be streaming Assassin's Creed Liberation on Sundays, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Standard Time. I'm saying hopefully because I don't know if me clearing the local save data will get rid of all my saves problem, save progress, because I would be pissed if it does. But, at the very least, I think the cloud uh, save data will be unaffected, hopefully. I'm just really kind of mad right now. I'm really kind of mad. But it looks like I have no choice but to uh, clear my local save data and restart my console. It's just, it's stupid. It's really stupid. But, uh, I... If I stream uh, Far Cry 3 tomorrow and my save data is completely unaffected, then that will mean that my thing has worked. If I don't stream at all, it is probably because I lost my save file. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know how this works. So I'm really risking my uh, games I cover on my channel by doing this, but it's the only option that I have right now. I really do apologize. I'm in the live stream here.